Hi, hi, and welcome to the live stream of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Ethan We've been Carter warned. I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. I thought you were going to call on the Ghostbusters. You call on me. If you're a kid like <laughs> Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Ooh. Red Creek Valley yet, but already now you're I thinking could in feel portals. darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To uh, find Ethan, he got sucked into another I had to dimension figure or something. out what this place was trying to hide from me. Oh, oh, we're in control. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have apparently become the light at the end of the tunnel, and we are investigating a young Ethan Carter is missing. <gasps> okay. Hi there, giant trap-like thing. Where did that even come from? Okay. <laughs> so I need to... Whoop, 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 whoop. What did I do? Okay, there we go. Oh, I see a lot of bones. A lot of bones and skulls. Okay. So I guess we keep looking around. Lots of poppies and things like that looks dangerous. That is dangerous. Other oh, pieces to a picture or a portal or something. Okay. All right. So I guess we have to find more of those. I think maybe we investigated the heck out of that side. Let's keep looking around. Ooh, is that a whole okay. <laughs> That one looked like it took some work to do. Yeah, I think we need one more piece before it's filled in. Oop. Okay. Oh, no. One more, one more piece. So five. Unless there's like an outer ring too on top of that. Hmm. Oh man, this game is so pretty. Look at how pretty it is. Oh. Ah, uh, we should just get like a nice picnic. And well, actually, this would probably be a very uncomfortable place to have a picnic because of all these stones everywhere. <laughs> We'd end up hurting our butts. There's like a bridge over there, but I think I'm still missing one of the traps. I hear cricket cracking. I think maybe... Is that... yeah, that's the one I already looked at. Maybe the cricket cracking is just, you know, wind in the trees and stuff. To end the end. That's like. <laughs> oh, I hear. Oh, no, I think I'm hearing that one. You know, these are terribly placed traps because you're supposed to just wander across a trap. That's the whole point of a trap. Is, you know, you're just going about your merry way and then boom, trap, and it gets you and kills you. This is not very well placed, however. Because I'm not wandering on it. I'm actively having to search for this trap. I'm convinced that it's on this side, but I guess it could also be on the other side. We've got the flip up thing. And we got. That's 
bear trap and a spinny trap. Oh, there's a lot more to this than I thought there was going to be. Maybe it's out over this way. Maybe it wasn't on the other side at all. This is heading back to where the swinging trap was. Yep, there it is. Okay, we are not going down there. Hmm. Even as I say that, I'm trying to figure out a way to go down there. <laughs> it looks a lot better than you're seeing in the stream. I bet I could stay- if I could just stay still for a few moments. Let me go to that pretty edge and not move. So you guys can see just how beautiful this game really is. Just look how beautiful it is. I'm not moving, so hopefully only the little bit of the tree swaying is breaking down. But it is gorgeous. And very immersive. All the sounds around you. The cricket cracking. I'm sure that there is another trap somewhere. I feel like I'm just walking over it over and over and over again. I bet you it's somewhere here and I'm just not seeing it. It's probably somewhere super obvious. And I have the observation skills of a slug or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's a little rude of me. Slugs could be incredibly ob observant and I just don't know. I'll go back to where the tunnel was and then I'll just follow the perimeter and kind of zigzag I guess. There has to be... Oh there's a sprint button! Okay. This will go a little faster now that I know that I can sprint. Alright. Stick into the corner. There's one trap. And then... This... Goes off to the coast here. Sag a little more. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We're on the other side of the snap trap now. These are all rocks. So let's go back to the track. Nope, turn a Yui. And now we're down to the coast again. To the train. Coast. Okay, it's definitely not on this side, I think. <laughs> I'd say definitely, but I'm not entirely sure. Track. That's rocky, can't pass it. Back to the track, cross all these rocks, and then here's the edge, you won't let me pass that. Turn around, <laughs> tracks, go up these rocks, to the edge, wait, that's the same corner. Maybe I need to go down more. Ah, I'm just... I'm so convinced that it's got to be here because the other ones were so easy to find. Ay! <laughs> oh. Found it! Got it, got it, got it! Whoa! Yup! That's a whole bunch of bones. That is a lot of bones. It's a heck of a lot of- oh! Sap by Ethan Carter An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous tra- oh, you can zoom in. Traps. The villagers believed this old man have hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search for the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Oh! What a charming photo. Look, there's a house on fire and trees on fire. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Meat Grant, boy! I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. 
Thanks, Grandpa, for being supportive of my arts and crafts style. Oh, there's like a bottle here. Where'd all the bones go? Huh. <sighs> One dead in house fire. Withdrawal from Vietnam early complete. 1970 something. September 28, 1970 something. One dead in house fire. Bayfield County Fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning. According to officials of, from the Bayfield County Fire Department, a family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out in the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandegriff, by the Ogden Lake in Red Creek Valley. Gail <laughs> Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators he must have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. After heated public hearing, no answers for- Oh! <laughs> you can hold shift and not have to try and read the crappy burnt thing. Remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, uh, may have fallen asleep with a cigarette. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 4.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hot spots which they had rekindled which had rekindled they had yes the firefighters went there they were like go on little flame you can do it have some kindling assisting at the initial fire was the ashland township volunteer fire department masonville emergency services was on standby at the scene after heated public hearing no answers for van de griff heirs Bayfield County, members of the Vandegriff, Vandegriff, the Vandegriff family, again gather in the Bayfield County Courthouse today to debate the fate of the Vandegriff fortune, which has remained in escrow since 1961 when the family patriarch, Albert Vandegriff, died in a mine account. The after effects of which nearly destroyed the Vandegriff industrial and severely damaged the local economy. James Vandegriff, 38 of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many Vandegriff family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandegriff estate, as stipulated in the end of Vandegriff's will. The recent fire in which the Vandegriff home was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concern. Since 1967, the Carter family has lived upon the former Vandegriff estate as temporary caretakers. Interesting. So, the Carters are... T I have no idea where I'm going. Where is the... <laughs> where am I? And where is the bridge? Or am I just in a completely different zone now? Oh, 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 oh. Aha. Bridge closed. Don't enter. Yeah, that's gonna stop... Oh. That's gonna totally stop me. Oh. Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary scared place. the crap out of me. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need oh. to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Oh, okay. I am so scared of falling through this bridge. Seriously, terrified of it. I do not want to go plunging into this icy- like, the leaves are changing. It is cold. Okay, alright, let's just keep moving. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, go, 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 <laughs> When in doubt, haul ass across it as fast as you can. I learned that from Pirates of the Caribbean. What is this? Okay, this looks like it's on solid ground, so... Blood. Animal? Human? Accident. Murder. Crankshaft? Fresh scratches. Recently used? Crank, 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 crank! Okay. I guess I need to find a crank! Hello, is there a crank in here? I guess this needs gas or something. Or it's a train. I guess it needs coal. <laughs> what am I it's gas? <laughs> hmm, 
comes with free wood. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you did. And subscribe if you want more content. Thanks again, guys. All right. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Rain and stuff and everything else. Oh, God. <laughs> We're off to a hell of a start already.